Hi everyone. This evening we're going to make a quick video about Selvin's Quadrifier brand pellet stove controller, a model 7000-205P. I have it in my test stove. I've got it hooked up to a thermocouple simulator and I have my meter which is uh, reading the voltage to the element. So it's not actually going to turn on an element, it's just going to turn on uh, or give me a voltage reading on my meter. The other thing of note here is on this Castile type stove the call for heat light related or associated with the thermostat is hidden way behind the controller here so it's a bit hard to see. So when I do have it on I'll carefully put my mirror back here and we'll see it ignite. It, uh, we'll see it on so we can be sure that it's working. So I'll go ahead and turn it on and when I do I expect to see the blinking blue light over here and uh, the, the yellow light in the center here will come on. Uh, just to note, I have my temperature simulator at uh, 41 degrees Fahrenheit and my meter is indicating that I have zero volts going to the element right now. So, let me turn it on and we'll hear the fan come up and you should look for that little light over here to tell me when the auger comes on. So, turning on, uh, there's my blinking light. The blue light should start blinking and the fan should come on. So you can hear that happening, right? And uh, we see the auger is not on, mostly because if you look at the light here, I'm not calling for heat. So basically what's happening right now is the stove is going through its initial 12 or so minutes startup. And the exhaust fan will run for about 12 minutes and then shut itself down if we're not calling for heat. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a call for heat. I'll turn on my uh, my thermostat simulator which is just a switch and the light goes on so we can see it back here uh, in the video the call for heat light is on I'm not going to show that again but as soon as I did that notice that I have a yellow light here that came on that means that the auger is driving and it'll drive for two minutes after I uh, I do a startup especially when I'm on cold when I first call for heat and if I'm cold or room temperature so to speak uh, that's what to expect and notice on my meter now I am calling I'm providing 120 volts AC out to the element so that's functioning correctly and we see that the blue light has gone through its cycles and it is no longer uh, blinking so that's everything's normal here so if you had called for heat uh, you have 120 volts AC going to the element and the room is not yet hot because the element or the fire hasn't started. So let's simulate that the temperature of the fire is starting to rise and we saw we've gone through two minutes here so, so the auger has gone up, off. As the temperature rises that I'm at 100 now pretty soon my little yellow light over here will turn or my little light will turn red and still I won't get any auger, oh I'm sorry green. So it's turned green which means that I'm at about 200 degrees Fahrenheit and that's what my simulator is showing. I wish I could put it all in the same image but I can't. So I'm at 200 degrees Fahrenheit and the light has turned green so, and I'm still getting 120 volts to the heater element. As I turn up the temperature this light will go red and when that happens the voltage to the element will shut off. So let me see if I can put those two in the same shot at the same time. So as I increase I'm at 200 300, 400, 5, and as I approach 600, there it is, 600 degrees. And notice I've lost my voltage to my heater element, but now my auger starts to drive. I'm at 600 and I'm just blinking back and forth here, so I'll increase this a little bit more just to go into a steady state. And there we go, my voltage to my heater element is off, and my auger is cycling on and off with the red light. See how is that's functioning there? I'm simulating that I have 629 degrees Fahrenheit. So now the auger is constantly driving on and off, on and off, as we see. And that should be dropping pellets into the fire pit. My heater element has been turned off, but we have a fire because we're at 600 degrees being shown by the red LED. So that state will continue in that mode until I choose, or at least the room temperature gets high enough and I can turn off the thermostat and now we'll see that the auger is no longer driving. Now because I'm using a simulator for the temperature 
the fire is going to stay at the same temperature and it's not going to change. But if I turn the thermostat back on to simulate a cooler room, the auger will start driving again. There it is. So you notice how the auger is driving. The auger is driving and I can actually hear it here, the motor actually spinning. And still my heater element is off, there's no need to be uh, trying to ignite it since the fire is going, we're at 630 degrees Fahrenheit. So again, the room is warming up, warming up, warming up. And as I uh, turn off the heat, it's impossible to tell. Uh, the call light's going on and off. I can see it, but it's very difficult to see within, in the video here. So as I ha am calling for heat, the auger drives. So, this is a fully functioning controller. Uh, the thing I don't have connected right now is the room fan, which is fine. It would not come on anyways because I don't have a true fire and there's a thermal switch in the, in the electronics here. Uh, not in the controller, but in the, in the furnace that would allow the convection fan to come on and off. So, this is a fully functioning controller. I'm ready to return it. Seven, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And be sure to let me know if you have any issues with it. Thanks. Bye-bye.